Do I need a master's or PhD degree or research experience for uh, getting a job in the pharmaceutical industry or biotech uh, industry? Or uh, if I want to work in the drug discovery path, uh, do I need a PhD research or a lot of research experience uh, to get into that job? Uh, if you're asking these kind of questions to yourself, then this is your video. Hi, this is Gulam Mesbaldin and I'm a life scientist and pharmacologist by training and I work in a private pharmaceutical research uh, institute. So let's figure out this topic. Okay, so there are a number of different level of students or um, professionals um, maybe watching this video and trying to figure out like, okay, I have undergraduation um, without research or with research, masters without research or with research phd mostly with research um, and then now i'm trying to uh, understand i want to work in the drug discovery or drug development process uh, or the disease biology of all these areas and in a pharmaceutical company or a biotech industry or the research institute do i need a certain level of education so for example phd masters or bachelor degree so the simple answer is no um do i need a long time experience again simple answer is no so uh all you have to do is find out the right opportunity um this is a common term however how you will find the right opportunity with the right level of education this is based on you what you know and what you are looking for so Coming down to some examples so you will understand. So in a drug discovery process in the pharmaceutical industry or biotech industry, there are so many different levels, right? So there are levels that you start from the scratch. You don't have a bachelor degree or you have a bachelor degree and then you are working as a technician um, and you really don't need higher education. So per se, for example, the master's re with research, a lot of publications or PhD with research, a lot of publications. So you, this person can start working as a technician years and years, spend five years, then he or she gets a promotion to a scientist level, associate scientist level, research associate level. And then they slowly um learn new things as they go because a lot of every pharmaceutical and biotech industry they have their internal career growth program you can learn a lot of different things as you go you don't need to come with all the experience and education all together so you can join in this kind of industry and then uh, you can find out like what kind of there are different types of people working there hundreds of people working in different areas some of them are working in chemistry some of them are working in the project management some of them are working in the uh, biological science some of them working in uh, pharmaceutical analysis so you are as a technician without any degree you have the undergrad and um, undergraduation uh, as an education and then you started as a technician or intern or something like that slowly growing your career as you go and then you are learning 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 and then um, suddenly you realize that you are more interested in the project management for example and then there is a lot of operations people um, who uh, observe the whole projects run the operation and then you you have that basic technical uh, expertise that you spend years to get to that position and you can be successful from that i have seen so many people came from uh, like a basic start but they are now like a top level executives uh, in the r d or operations or uh, pharmaceutical industry right so you really don't need a phd now if you are coming with a master's program for example um you can also start as a scientist yeah there is you just need to look for like what kind of exp uh, uh, experience length that they need again there are a couple of videos that i have made for students um uh, that uh, what kind of area or field of research that you want to look for right uh, so this can be a very broad area you can come with a basic uh, expertise and you can enter from a scratch level 
and then you can start from there some companies looking for it really depends on how the company structure is there some company is looking for more experienced people some company is looking for someone will come in with a knowledge and they will invest their knowledge as well as they work so they are looking for a knowledge plus skill set they will bring into that drug development process in that case maybe you need some master's degree with some research experience uh, maybe some technical experience and all those things some some of the roles will like a scientist senior scientist role uh, can be like okay so we want someone will invest knowledge as well they might look for a phd so if you look for the pharmaceutical industry or biotech job advertisement in linkedin indeed or all these platforms you will see that they're they're giving almost every single education level so if you're coming from bachelor degree you need 10 years of experience plus bachelor degree right uh, like a bachelor degree plus 10x experience um and then if you have a master's degree then you need maybe five or six years experience if you have a phd you need one or two years of experience or no experience so in phd for example a person who is almost similar so experience wise in the pharmaceutical industry or biotech industry almost similar if you are completing your bachelor degree in 2010 and in 2024 after 14 years you are trying to get in a position um, uh, as a say for example the senior position in the research uh, you can try after 14 years of experience in somewhere in biotech or pharmaceutical industry obviously you did some research from scratch and you will spend this 14 years to get to that kind of role right a person who is doing phd also completed his or her uh, bachelor degree in 2010 and then spent two three years for masters spend six seven years for phd and then spend another four or five years for postdoc so he's also spending the same amount of time in the research uh, and then applying for the same job now the experience is almost similar yes there are some differences uh, it depends on the what kind of job is there and that that the job or the company may be looking for more experienced people there they might consider uh, a bachelor degree with a lot of experience versus a phd or postdoc uh, without any experience right so it really depends what they're looking for that company that particular so if you are done with your education like uh, you know like okay this is my max education that i want to do um then that's absolutely fine and you can just continue with your uh, job search and start for job hunting and if you want to do you are passionate about research you you are working on your particular topic uh, and then you want to spend time on your research and then look for job later on that's also fine both brings the experience or value on the table of uh, the drug discovery process in the pharmaceutical industry and biotech hope this helps and if you have any question about this career development from the academic uh, career feel free to ask me uh, reach out uh, through my facebook or youtube comments thank you very much